Good morning, guys. Welcome to a day in my life as a medical receptionist. We start out with some cat cuddles. And then, of course, it's coffee time. I'm refilling my Nespresso pods, and I just do one shot of an Altissimo pod with some oat milk. Now it's time for my devotion. I try to do this every morning whenever I can, and it really just sets me up for a great day. Good morning, guys. I wanted to share a verse that I read that I thought was really powerful. It's Proverbs 24, verse 17, and this is the sayings of the wise, which is so cool. And it says, do not gloat when your enemy falls. When they stumble, do not let your heart rejoice, or the Lord will see and disapprove and turn his wrath away from them. Guys, oftentimes when we have enemies or just people that we don't like in general, it can be kind of nice to see them struggle or to fall and as people of god we are called to not rejoice in the downfall of someone else and i just thought that was a really powerful and a really good reminder for all of us so now it's time to get ready for work i usually wash my face and put some lotion on i do some light makeup and then i put some dry shampoo and straighten the tops of my hair and then we're ready to go Today I'm doing a bagel, but sometimes I'll do avocado toast or whatever I'm in the mood for. I'm eating my bagel right now because I'm starving, but normally I will take it with me to the office. But for some reason today, I just cannot wait. So I'm gonna eat this. This cup fits this entire thing of water. I'm also having some cottage cheese for some protein because when I have a bagel, and nothing else, I get really hungry at like 10. Okay guys, I actually threw these sneakers into the washer machine the other day and they came out so white. I'm so happy, except for like a little bit on the side here, but I've had these shoes for like three years. They are still looking pretty good, so I highly recommend washing your sneakers. I will try to link these down below. I did not purchase these scrubs myself. They were actually a gift, so I'll try to find them. But I really like them. I like that they're high-waisted. And I'm a size small in bottoms and extra small in top. I really want to get a pair of figs. So figs, if you're watching, please sponsor me. And guys, this is only my second work day with my Stanley Cup. So far, so good. Yesterday, I didn't even finish this whole thing at work, and it's kind of heavy. I'm resting it on my shoulder because it's really heavy. It's 40 ounces, and so far, I really like it. The only thing I don't know if I like is drinking from a straw in general because I'm not used to it. I have to get used to the straw aspect, but as far as like color, I'm obsessed. What? I have an eczema breakout on my forehead. Oh look, it's like descent inception. Okay, we are ready to go. I just have my little backpack here. This is from TJ Maxx, so I can't link it. But take a look around your local Marshalls or your TJ Maxx. Hello. To see if they have any cute little backpacks. So let's go to work. Let's have a good day as a medical receptionist. See you later, okay? Have a good day. Okay, I just got to work. I'm a little bit early, but that's okay. Typical me, what can I say? My phone wasn't charging last night for some reason, so I'm charging it now, which is so weird. But I wanted to say, in case you're new here, this is only my first week as a medical receptionist, so if you see me doing something wrong or the wrong way or crazy, just know that I have no idea what I'm doing, okay? Just keep that in mind. This is my mom's dermatology practice, and the reason I'm working here for the next few weeks is because we have a new receptionist starting a week and a half from now. So in the meantime, I need to fill in and I'm really happy to be here. It's really fun and exciting and I'm learning something new and learning about the medical industry is just so interesting. So let's go ahead and go inside and I'll show you my setup and everything. Okay, so I usually get to work around 8.45 and I put my bag away and I say hi to my mom before heading to my post for the day. Here is our waiting room. It's so freaking gorgeous. We also have a coffee bar and this is my location for the day. 
I put my blue light glasses on and I grab the iPad. What I do first thing is I text all of our patients a reminder for their appointments for the same day and the next day. This is super important because a lot of times patients forget that they have appointments and it's really important that we get as many patients in so that the doctor does not have downtime. Next, I check my email and I check the schedule for the day. Then it's about eight o'clock, so I'm getting my physical consents ready. We have physical and electronic consents that patients need to sign. I usually turn on some music or an educational video. Today, it's gonna be Harry Styles. And then I disinfect the coffee bar and the coffee machine. I disinfect all the door handles to make sure everything is sanitary. And then I take some Windex and I wipe out the fingerprints of the front glass door. I also wipe down the chairs and the iPads. These are the iPads that the patients use to sign in and sign consents. Then I go into the rooms and make sure everything is tidy and ready for the first patients of the day. Then I hang out with my mom and wait for the first patient to arrive. Hi guys, it's me again. It's about 12 o'clock. I'm gonna go get some food. <laughs> my hair is crazy. I put my hair up because it was really getting oily, but I'm gonna go get some food. I was just on the phone with a bunch of insurance companies all morning because I need to call to verify the patient's insurances before they come in. That way, number one, I can make sure we take their specific plan. And number two, I know exactly what to charge them because the insurance world is so crazy and so like honestly screwed up to the point where if it says something on their plan document, it may actually not be true. So you just have to call and it's very time consuming. And especially since I'm new, I don't want to make a mistake. So I'm taking the effort to call each patient's insurance and hopefully in a few weeks once I'm like, I've done it all at least once. I will know like, oh, this specific plan, we do this. But there's thousands of plans. So it's gonna take me a while to accumulate the information and the knowledge. Gonna go to lunch. Guys, I'm gonna go on a little rant about medical insurance. If you're not interested in that, skip all, skip all on ahead because I'm so pissed right now. At just the system in general, I don't think that the government should control 100% of our health insurance. Like, I don't think that's a good idea either. But I know that what's happening right now is not working. It sucks for the patient, it sucks for the doctor, and I'm seeing that firsthand. Patients don't understand it, we don't understand it. It's just extremely expensive. And oftentimes we will uh, try to bill a patient's insurance and they'll reject it for who knows what reason. And so then the doctor doesn't get paid anything. At the end of the day, either the patient gets screwed or the doctor gets screwed. And the only person who's winning is the insurance company. Like 100% the insurance companies and whoever controls them or regulates them is the one who's making money. Because if you live in the US, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you don't live in the US, you're probably like, what's going on, you guys? That's crazy. And yeah, it is crazy. It's crazy. I don't know what the solution is. I just know that something needs to change on behalf of both the patients and the doctors. There are some visits where my mom doesn't get paid anything, like zero dollars. So she'll spend 30 minutes with the patient and the insurance says that the patient doesn't owe anything at the time of visit. And so yeah, totally fine, whatever. So we bill the insurance and then they don't pay. Like why? Why are you doing that? Rant over. I'm here at Panera Bread, gonna get some lunch for me and my mom. <laughs> What's going on, Rachel? <laughs> I'm on hold again. Uh, is this how you spend your lunch time? Yeah. It's very glamorous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Strong work. Do the way. Okay. Now we can eat. <laughs> as soon as I got in, uh, somebody called, so I had to take the call. But me and my mom were just discussing insurances. Correct me if I'm wrong, even your fellow doctor colleagues also don't understand all the oh, complexities yeah. of... No, not at all. Like, I understand less than you right now. Really? That's scary. I come to you for answers. God help us. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, this is typically what we do. We just eat lunch quickly, answer phones if they ring. Since we have a small staff, it's just us for now. And we have an MA, but she's out to lunch. So yeah, great. So in the afternoon, we obviously have our afternoon patients that I cannot film. So here is a clip of me just doing something on the iPad. 
Okay, I just got back home from work and I did not finish my water, unfortunately. I got like right here, which isn't bad to be honest. Like for me, I don't drink that much water. So the fact that I could drink almost the whole thing during the work day is awesome. Where's Vinny? Hello. Hello. Did you have a good day? Did you have a good day, baby? Yeah. AJ's at the gym. I missed the window again. So anyways, I don't think I'm gonna do anything today. I'm so tired, you guys. Oh, here he is. Hi, babe. Hi. Vinny, you want to Hey, come on. Hmm? Oh my gosh. Okay, are you done? Give me a sec. No! Okay guys, it's dinner time and you already know that that means HelloFresh. I am working with them in today's video and I'm gonna make Italian chicken lemony spaghetti. I'm so excited. You guys, if you haven't heard of HelloFresh, you're living under a rock because they are the best meal kit service. They deliver pre-portioned ingredients directly to your front door so you don't have to go grocery shopping or meal plan or do any of that jazz, which I hate doing. So if you're anything like me, you will love HelloFresh. All of the recipes are so tasty tasty and the produce goes from the farm to your front door in under a week which means that the spring menu features the season's freshest flavors guys hello fresh can be up to 72 percent cheaper than going out to eat at a restaurant hello fresh offers veggie pescatarian and fit and wholesome meals to make it easy to stick to your goals hello fresh is the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all packaging is recyclable on a busy weeknight like tonight i cannot think even more than one second about dinner so that's I'm see I can't even like speak right now because I'm so tired from work and the last thing I want to do is throw together a recipe and be stressed out about it so make sure you guys check them out you will not regret it you will message me and be like thank you for telling me about HelloFresh because it changed my life Guys, it changed my life and I'm not even being dramatic. We use them every single week. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code RACHELVIN16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Once again, that's HelloFresh.com and use my code RACHELVIN16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Okay, we decided to come for a walk. Come for a walk? To go for a walk? To go. come for a walk? What did I say? Guys, I'm so brain dead after work. You're Relatable. Nice. Stop. <laughs> you should have put a blur over that. <laughs> um, yeah, we decided to come for a walk. Come AJ, for a walk? Why do I keep saying that? What does that mean? Um, <laughs> like if Anna came over for a walk, yeah, sure. AJ just, okay, there's an AC vent, hold on. AJ just got back from the gym, so I'm going for a walk with AJ today. <laughs> my hair tonight and I put in this way leave-in conditioner it smells so good one thing I love about short hair now is that I can comb it really easily and I take this little eyebrow tool and I use this to part my hair Cetaphil face lotion and guys this is the best nighttime product this is the skin better all for Ret night cream clearing serum my skin used to be so red after the shower and just like in general and then a few weeks of using this it completely cleared up like this is so good for me I still have some redness but like right after the shower this is so good it has alpha hydroxy acid and I think that's what the main ingredient is it's not just a moisturizer like it has active ingredients that actually help your skin I've never seen results like this I'm not sponsored no affiliate link like literally nothing but my mom gave me this and it is so good and you know who else you know who else said this? JC Marie Smith. You guys know her? She talked about this on her podcast and I was like, girl, I'm with you. I agree, this is the best product. It is a little bit expensive. It's like 100 something. It might even be like 175, something crazy, but it's so worth it. I just do it like every other night and I alternate it with tretinoin 1% or 0.1%. This is prescription strength. If you're doing an over-the-counter retinol, it's not doing much. I'm just gonna say it. There, I said it. I said it. You have to get a prescription strength, otherwise you're kind of wasting your time. So go to your dermatologist, ask for tretinoin, um, or some people say tretinoin. 
excuse me, whatever, tretinoin, tretinoin. It's so easy to get, just get a, get a, get a prescription, it's so easy to get. Do you guys know that girl, HR, HRH collection, the girl who like talks smack? I've been watching her videos way too frequently and I feel like her vibe is rubbing off on me. So that's it, that's all I do, easy. Deodorant, of course, I just use this crap, like, who really cares? Oh, if you guys have sweaty armpits and it's a problem, get this product. You can buy it on Amazon, it's so cheap. It's like a little roller ball, like this, and it rolls on, it's clear, it doesn't smell, and this will stop your sweating for like 24 hours. So put this on right after you shower and your pits will be dry for the whole day. I used to struggle with it and then I started using this and then it went away, I don't know. Last but not least, I do my silicone strips. You guys are like, what? I know. I got a motor mode. Good morning guys, it's the next day. I fell asleep on the couch last night. I was watching my friend Jenna's videos and then I watched an episode of Ozark. We just started watching Ozark. I stopped watching it a long time ago because there was like a lot of nudity, but as you go on, it's really not that much. I know it's an excuse, but it's a really good show. So I've been uh, watching that. But I wanted to answer some questions quickly about my job because I know it can be a little bit confusing, me going back and forth from my mom's to my dad's. So let me answer some questions. Explain the role of a medical assistant. Do you think you'll start to go to school for that or a nurse? So I am currently a medical receptionist, not a medical assistant. So a medical assistant is not even necessarily a nurse. It's just someone who goes in and assists the doctor. They scribe, they finish the notes, and they assist with procedures. Um, they don't need to go to school for it. So that is a medical assistant. A nurse, obviously you have to go to school for that, but they often oftentimes perform the same role, especially within a dermatology clinic. We can have an MA or a nurse, and they both do almost the same thing. A medical receptionist like myself, as you guys saw, I just check in, check out, collect insurances, schedule appointments, and there's no training necessary for that, although there should be. There should be because insurances can be really confusing. I don't think I will go to school to be a nurse. I never really thought about that, to be honest, until I saw this question. I'm not ruling it out completely. Um, I just don't know if I want to go to school again. Are you planning to practice dermatology with your mom? So that's still up in the air. I'm not sure like what the future holds for me. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go back to my dad's full time forever or stay with my mom or do both or neither, who knows. Um, all I know is that I really like working with my mom and I wanna keep going. And so after we get the new receptionist, we're kinda of going to evaluate and see like what's the best fit for me. I have no answer, but all I can say is that I really do enjoy working with my mom in the medical industry. It's so fun, I love the patients, I love the cosmetics and the skincare, and it's just so awesome, I love it. I also love wearing scrubs. Wearing scrubs is so fun. I only have one pair right now, but I wanna get some figs. And it's just so fun to wear the same thing every day and not have to worry about what you're gonna wear. I can also wear sneakers, which is fun. And I like to get a lot of steps. So getting steps at work is so cool. A lot of people are asking like, what's happening with my dad's company while I'm here at my mom's? Jeez, my hair. I just washed my hair last night, so it's like crazy. So I'm still keeping up with emails from my dad's, but obviously I'm not there full time. So I kind of like delegated my work to other people. Um, it's the same type of situation as if I were to be on vacation, except I'm still like keeping up with emails and doing things that I can do from here. But to be honest, I'm not doing much because medical receptionist is so like fast paced. The phone is always ringing, always. There's always a patient walking in. There's always something that needs to be done. And if there's no patient, then I need to be calling insurances for the patients that are coming later or the next day or the next week. So I haven't had much time to do anything really, but I do bring my laptop with me and I have my emails. How to be sure if your job is the best one for the long term. So I think a good way to know is 
if you don't dread going to work. So if you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, I have to go to work and it's like terrible and you feel terrible, then maybe that's a sign that it's not for you long-term. Now, I'm not gonna say that every job is gonna be fun and enjoyable because jobs are jobs. And sometimes we just have jobs that we don't love or are obsessed with. Like, And sometimes we just have to go to work and it sucks and that's just life. Like, I'm just gonna be real. But if you find yourself dreading and hating work year after year, then maybe try to do something else. Uh, switch industries, go into the medical field, go into construction, go into something else, go to school until you find a job that you don't hate. I'm not saying you have to be obsessed with your job. I don't think that's realistic for everybody. But if you can find a job that you don't mind, I think you're gonna be really happy. And then someone asked if our procedures at our dermatology office is covered by insurance. Yes, so we do take several insurances and a lot of the procedures are covered. But like I mentioned before, we will bill, let's say $500 for a procedure to the insurance and they will pay us $38. So. It's tough and the only way doctors can truly be profitable and make a decent living is with volume. So if you're seeing 50 patients a day and the insurance pays you $38 for each of them, it's not a lot per patient, but when you add it up, <clears throat> it can be profitable. But as far as cosmetics like lip injections, Botox, uh, Sculptra, lasers, things like that, Insurance does not cover that at all, obviously, because it's cosmetic and it's not medically necessary. So just keep that in mind. And that's often where dermatology clinics like my mom's make their money because the insurances suck and they don't pay a lot. We have to make it up by doing cosmetics and lasers and other things like that. A lot of questions on my salary and how do I negotiate my salary with my parents. Um, so I've been working for four years. I graduated four years ago. So I've been working for my dad's for four years. I started out at a very basic entry level salary and over the four years I've gotten raises and I would say it's pretty fair market value. Um, my parents are extremely generous with me and I'm not gonna lie about that. Like they helped us with the house and like they're so generous. So I wouldn't say it's necessarily through my salary. So yes, all things considered, working for family is awesome. Highly recommend um, if you get along with your family, it's amazing. Um, I know some people don't get along with their family and it can be challenging, um, but I'm so blessed and so grateful to have awesome parents who just like support me in everything that I do. And they totally understand that YouTube is a priority for me and they let me vlog at work. And yeah, so it's awesome. Um, so as far as the salary, it's a pretty fair and standard salary, but they've helped me with in other ways financially that aren't necessarily like through my paycheck, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I loved making this video. It was so much fun. And let me know what else you guys want to see from me. Comment down below if you liked this video and you want another one like this. Um, don't forget to check out my podcast. I'll link that down below as well as my Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye. And don't forget to subscribe. My life depends on trying to figure a scribble I could let loose. Dodging the dribble that they trying to throw my way. I think I figured that them figures out to get you. Let them pull the strings to 